What are expressions? Expressions are snippets of code using extended script or JavaScript to alter After Effects layer properties. But the good news is you don't have to be a coder to learn expressions. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What is it? Oh, nothing. Plus, After Effects also comes equipped with PickWhip functionality, allowing you to automatically generate code to define relationships. If you're using After Effects, you will run into a project where you'll need to animate numbers. At least, I'm pretty sure you will. There are a lot of different ways to animate numbers, but if you want to save time, then you need to consider learning the basic expressions. We're going to use the expression function to animate numbers. Check it out. Okay, so let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is get the text tool. I'm going to click and I'm going to type a number. The number really doesn't matter what it is. I'll make it a little bigger so you can see it. This doesn't really matter. What you're going to do though is you're going to go add an expression. And before we do that, we're going to do a slider control. So we're going to go to effects and make sure that you're highlighted on this layer so that you can add that effect to this layer. So we're gonna make sure that we're on the layer. You can see it's highlighted. Effects, expression control, slider control. Now that I'm on slider control, I'm gonna go ahead and drop down the text. You'll see source text right there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the pick whip and we're going to uh, attach that to this slider control stopwatch. So we're gonna go ahead and click on the pick whip from the source text. And now we have written, if we option click on this stopwatch, you'll see that we have attached this text to this slider control. And this is the expression. Now, uh, maybe what we wanna do is we want to uh, make sure that there's no decimals and that it's an even number. So in order to do that, we're going to go ahead and uh, press dot. And this is just a little bit of code. I'll put that in the description below, but it's pretty easy to do. It's just dot value dot to fixed. And you put a zero in there. And what that's going to do is it's going to make sure that when you animate this, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and hit the stopwatch on the slider and we'll start at zero. And then I'm going to go a few seconds and we'll go to a hundred and eleven. How about that? And now what you're gonna see is it is animating to 111 with the keyframes. Now, if you wanted a decimal, you would put in how many you want. So if I do one, it's going to do a one decimal after. If I do two, then there will be two decimals. So as you can see, it starts counting and two decimals. Now, if you don't want anything, then just put zero. And leave it and it will just get there will be no zero, anything like that. So there you go. That is how you animate a number. Okay, so what you can do is you can move the keyframe around to decide how fast or slow you want this number to count. So the longer, and then the other thing too, just with animation, you always want to highlight the keyframes, keyframe assistant, and do easy ease. You can also just hit F9 to do that, but then the animation is much smoother. So there you go, that is how you do an animation. Now what you're wondering you can do with this, you can do lots of different things with it, but one of the things you could do is you can create a number counter so that if you're doing an outline of a lot or you're doing something like that, you can actually see the numbers going up. So, and all I did with this is I just added a number to go up to a certain uh, number and then just created a null object and tracked this light pole and just attached this number to the null so that as the drone was flying forward it stayed stationary with this piece of land. 
I do have other tutorials on showing you how to do this outline and now we are doing the number animation so that you can see how to track uh, the number. I go ahead and click on this and we're gonna do a track motion and it's gonna give us a tracker point and I'm gonna, I want the number to be right here somewhere so I'm gonna scroll in, you know, uh, zoom in here and I'm going to put this tracker right here. So I've got my tracker point I'm ready to go. Looks pretty good. Got a pretty good little area. Maybe I'll just track this whole, this whole thing. And you can adjust this and just kind of, you know, play with it to see what's gonna work for you. And it's just gonna kind of track that area. Okay, there's a couple jumps. I don't know if you saw that. They're pretty noticeable. So I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna change my tracker area. I want less make it a little smaller. I want less issues with that. So now we'll try it again. Go ahead, put this thing back here and we'll try it again. That's much better. Okay. Much better, not any real jumps or anything. I'm gonna go new, no object. No one. Okay, we're gonna apply, actually edit the target first, and we're gonna go to the null, hit okay, and apply. X and Y, yes. And I do, I'm going kind of fast on this, but I already have a tutorial on that, so you can look at it for how to track objects, but now that I have that there, I'm gonna just turn on one of my, uh, I'm gonna turn on one of my numbers just so we can see. And okay, so we'll put it right, that one's good. We're gonna move it up and over, maybe back a little bit. And then I'm gonna take this and I'm going to pick whip the null object. So now, if you can see, I'm tracking, but it's not moving any of that. And let's say this starts a little late. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it. And all I'm doing is shift command D. And I'm just gonna bring this a little bit closer so that it tracks faster. Oops. So if we go, there you go. So hopefully this was a educational tutorial for you guys and that you enjoyed it.